Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Come on and join me as I get into some stuff here in the kitchen. Okay, so my friend Christine gave me some peppers, all different kinds of peppers. Some of them I don't even know what they are, but I washed them off and you can see I have them draining here on some paper towels. And I went ahead and I blotted the top part because you really don't want them to be wet. So what I'm gonna do next is get them on this tray and put them into the oven um, to broil. Okay, here they are. Make sure they're in a single layer and I'll put them under the broiler. Now you wanna watch this, don't uh, walk away from these, okay? All right, so we've achieved a nice char on these. And <clears throat> what we're gonna, the next thing we wanna do is get the skin off of them. So the way to do that is to cover it. You can choose to empty these into a Tupperware or something and cover them, but I'm just gonna use the same container, the same um, roasting tray and just tint them with the foil. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna blister and it'll be easy to just remove uh, the skin. And then we will move ahead with bottling. It's very simple. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and let me just give you an example of how simple it is to get the skin off of these. Look at that. It just comes right off. And you just want to go off, see? You just want to go all the way around, peel the skin off, and then open it up and get the seeds out. Look at that. That's it. Seeds gone. Okay? Let me get all these done. Okay, I've cleaned off all of my peppers and I'm just going to slice them lengthwise. These are small ones. I'm sorry I'm obscuring your view. And just do the red ones. here and I'm going to just lay these in to actually I'm going to put a little bit of salt probably about half a teaspoon or so and get this in here on the bottom and some garlic I'm gonna put in a few sprigs of thyme you can um add any um, herb or spice that you want, or spice berries. Um, you can add black pepper, just anything. But I'm trying to stick with a kind of neutral uh, flavor profile because I'm not sure what I'm going to be using this for. But let me get this in there, and I'll come right back. All right, there. We go. Oops. Oh, I almost lost everything. That's gonna be. It's <laughs> gonna be for the bloopers. Okay, I'm gonna add in now some nice um, olive oil. This is cold press extra virgin olive oil. And just try to get it covered. This should keep in your fridge easily for um, at least a week. Look at that. Mmm, smells fantastic. So I will let this up, put it in my fridge, and I will come up with a couple of recipes so we can use it. But definitely give this a try. This can be really expensive if you purchase it at the grocery store. And look at how easy it is to make. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming back into my kitchen. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to you coming back next time because I promise to make another delicious recipe. Bye.